So let's go through an example of using the annuity formulas. For this question, we've got a person's depositing $500 per month into an investment with an interest rate of 3.5% compounding monthly. How much will they have after 20 years? So because this is 20 years and it's monthly, this is a long-term investment. Hence, we're gonna use one of the annuity formulas and not a recurrence relation. And since it's increasing, meaning there's regular deposits, we're gonna use this formula. Now in this formula, the M value is the amount you're depositing each compounding period, which is $500. The I part is just the interest rate as a decimal divided by the compounding periods. And N is the total number of compounding periods throughout the investment. So 20 years, it's compounding monthly, 20 times 12 is 240. Note, if we wanted to use a recurrence relation to solve this problem, we could, but we just have to hit the equals button on the calculator 240 times. So we could use the calculator trick, but that's gonna take us a long time to do. Hence, it's sometimes easier to use this annuity formula for long-term situations. I've plugged everything into this formula. Now, a common thing that happens from here is when you try to enter all of this in, because there's so many brackets and there's fractions on fractions and it's getting a bit messy, it's very easy to get a syntax error or just any sort of error. So my way around this is to do the following. I would enter the top line first. I would just enter that, ignore everything else, just enter the top line only. Then you'll hit equals and you'll have an answer stored. Once you've got an answer stored, you can then divide that answer by the bottom line. Then once you've got that answer stored, then you can times the whole thing by 500. So instead of doing it all in one single step in your calculator, you can do it in three steps and it just reduces the risk of error. And the amount that we get is that. So we've just worked out to put some context to what this number means, is if someone had, or if someone was depositing $500 every month into an account for 20 years, and if their interest rate was 3.5% per annum, compounding monthly, then they would have 173,000 approximately at the end of 20 years.